Dear participants, welcome to the live event of Antalya Bilim University and College of Tourism. Uh, we are so excited uh, having you here and doing this meeting. And this is the first meeting that is specially prepared for you. And um, there are so many topics that should be discussed, but it is uh, not possible to cover all of them. So we will focus on some important matters. That's why you need to ask your questions uh, if you are here with us at the moment, then please ask your questions and we will read them all and answer them all. And uh, if you are not here at the moment, then you, you are watching it somewhere else, maybe sometime later on YouTube maybe. And that's fine. Please take some notes, write down your questions and just reach us through email. Uh, one of our professors will share email address with you. OK, then I think we should start. Uh, first, let me introduce you to professors here today from both departments, uh, Gastronomy and Culinary Arts, Tourism and Hotel Management departments. So let's start with Chala Mackenzie, Chala Çavuşoğlu Mackenzie uh, from Gastronomy and Culinary Arts. Welcome, Chala. Yes. Hi, how are you? Good evening well, for everyone. Thank you. And now here is uh, Demet Ceylan from Tourism and Hotel Management Department. Hello everyone. Nice to see you online. Well, thank you. This was a short introduction. Now we will go on uh, with Chala. And uh, Chala, would you please introduce yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Welcome and thank you for attending our online meeting. My name is Chala Çavuşoğlu Mackenzie. I'm a food scientist and I have been working at Antalya Bilim University since 2017. Uh, before then, I completed my PhD uh, at the University of Bonn. And then I moved to the UK uh, to work at the food industry uh, there. And uh, back in 2017, I came back to Turkey and start, uh, started working at Antalya Bilim University at the Gastronomy and Culinary Arts Department. Um, that was all for me. Now, uh, shall we start with the introduction yes, to the... Yeah. Uh, so before, uh, first of all, I would like to start with the uh, education uh, language at Antalya Bilim University before introducing the gastronomy and culinary arts department. The education language at Antalya Bilim University is uh, English and students have to pass an English proficiency test uh, conducted by the university before starting their degrees at the School of Tourism. And depending on the results of this English proficiency test, students can either directly start the undergraduate program, uh, the tourism hotel management or the gastronomy and culinary arts or they are placed in an English preparatory class. Once they have successfully completed their preparatory class, they may then begin their tourism or gastronomy education. Um, Antalya University uh, has different campuses in uh, different locations in Antalya. Uh, the School of Tourism is located at Doshemaltı campus and female dormitory is also located in the Dashamalta campus and male dormitory is very close by uh, the Dashamalta campus. Um, foreign students may be awarded scholarships based on their um, high school GPA and their submitted written statement, which is a kind of letter, as reviewed by the Evaluation Committee at Antalya Bilim University. So for further information, the candidate students may email to the uh, Secretary of the School of Tourism, uh, Duygu, Ms. Duygu Özyeşit, uh, at the email uh, shown here on this slide tourism at antalyaedu.tr. The uh, School of Tourism is consists of two departments, uh, Tourism and Hotel Management and Gastronomy and Culinary Arts. Tourism and Hotel Management is a four-year undergraduate program established in 2012, and Gastronomy and Culinary Arts is a four-year undergraduate program established in 2017. But, uh, in order to graduate, students have to um, complete 240 ECT, ECTCs from both departments. 
Uh, as we said, the English, uh, the language, uh, education language uh, on the campus is uh, English. So uh, the campus is quite colorful and full of different nationalities uh, from Russia to uh, Bangladesh. Uh, and uh, there are also um, students, Turkish students coming from different cities. And this creates a heterogeneous and a rich cultural structure, which makes the study uh, fun. Um, as key facts and figures the, at the School of Tourism, uh, the 100% English as a language of instruction, uh, the degrees are inter internationally recognized, uh, the students have the opportunities to study minor and double major degrees, and um, students also have uh, a second foreign language, and for foreign students this will be a probably a third foreign language, Russian, Spanish, Chinese or German, uh, which is quite uh, beneficial and useful to be able to find a job uh, in the tourism and the hospitality uh, industry. Uh, and the, the School of Tourism also have very strong links with the hospitality industry in Antalya, uh, which is also useful for finding placements, internship placements, and uh, for their uh, for students' uh, future uh, career, future careers. Uh, the academic staff uh, in tourism and hotel management and the gastronomy and culinary arts quite similar. Uh, we have one professor in each department and uh, three and four assistant professors, uh, two research assistants in each department and uh, two instructors and one instructor in the um, gastronomy and culinary arts. As you see here, we have the academic staff uh, in the tourism and hotel management. Uh, if you go on the website, you can uh, click on the um, uh, staff member's uh, name and then uh, you can uh, look at their background, uh, see their uh, research areas. And I think uh, from now on, uh, Demet Hojan will uh, continue. OK, thank you. Uh, yes, my name is Demet Ceylan and I'm a lecturer in Antalya Bilim University. Uh, College of uh, Tourism, School of Tourism. Uh, I lecture uh, mostly money lessons or cost lessons or accounting lessons. My background is business administration and I worked in the finance uh, area of tourism for more than 26 years before I joined uh, academia. Uh, so actually uh, I'm looking forward for my students to follow my steps in the sector and uh, we have very close links with sector not only because of my um, personal background but also because most of our lecturers most of our instructors are from uh, sector and they have strong links uh, so we have uh, very good relations with the sector not only for internships or work opportunities but also we are interested in um, training graduates for the future needs of the sectors for this, we have to understand the needs of the sector and design our curriculum, adjust our curriculum according to the needs of the sector for tomorrow. So this is why we are keeping in very close uh, relationship with the sector. Our graduates from tourism and ho uh, hotel management department uh, and also gastronomy and culinary arts department can work in many different uh, loops of the service chain. You know, tourism is a very long service chain. Uh, as of now, we do not have any graduates from gastronomy and culinary arts because it is only open four years ago. Our first students are now senior students. This is why I can only talk about their internships where they are very much welcome by the sector. And uh, actually, our um, interns are uh, demanded by the sector. I'm, I'm talking about interns where graduates are also very much demanded. Um, as you can see, we have only six students uh, who preferred uh, pursuing academic careers. Uh, two of them already um, co completed their master's degree and they're pursuing PhD program. And four of them are currently in master's degree. And we are hoping to welcome back in, their, in our university so that they can lecture in the classrooms. They have been trained. Uh, 20, and 86 of our students are working in the sector. Uh, not only in Turkey, of course, major uh, graduates uh, are in Turkey, but we also have graduates in Moldova, uh, Maldives, Bahrain, USA, Italy, Russia, Ukraine, Bangladesh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. So actually, this also represents the colorful nature of our classrooms. 
because we have many students from different nationalities where interaction in the classroom, because we have projects uh, where you have to have team members from different nationalities, uh, enables our students to understand and interact with different cultures. The roadmap of our program, as Charlo Oja mentioned, starts with an English preparatory class because our uh, language, of, language of education is English. This is why English is not considered as a foreign language in our school. English is the language of education. And then we start our uh, first year classes where I will show you the, uh, the program, the curriculum. So here I can show you that the first year it's uh, basically in class learning, uh, second year more practice and interaction with the sector where you have your first internship uh, in the summer season. And after the third year, uh, you have the second internship. From third year onwards, it is core and elective courses where the student can choose uh, area of interest where they want to specialize. Our curriculum enables a flexible um, program for our students where they can boost their energy in the area they love to work. Uh, in our uh, tourism curriculum, you can see freshmen, sophomore, junior and senior years in one uh, page here. The ones uh, circled with yellow indicates advanced English. This is very important for us because in the prep class, our students improve their English language skills. But here in our advanced English classes, we specifically teach tourism, gastronomy, culinary, vocabulary, and our projects, our uh, assignments in these four courses are specifically for the sectors. This is why when our students graduate, they're fluent in speaking English, and they also have a fluency in the proficiency of tourism area. And as you can see, the ones with a red circle, there are area electives and blue circles, non-area electives. Non-area elective means the course will not start with a TRM code, which means you can have this non-area elective in uh, any other area you would like to discover, starting from architecture to business administration, from engineering to uh, public relations. So you can have many areas to discover while you're studying in our university, in our school. And also area electives enable you to specialize in the areas that draw your interest. Can we go back one, uh, go forward one slide? These are the area elective codes. Uh, the one starting with three means, so TRM uh, 373, the code is starting with three, which means this is a third year uh, elective course, area elective course, because it is starting with TRM. And if the course is starting with four, this is a fourth year elective course. Uh, if the code is ending with a, a even number like three, then it is a fall semester. And if it is ending with a zero, two, four, six, eight, uh, then it is a spring semester. As you can see, we have so many different area electives for tourism and similarly for gastronomy, where our students are divided in smaller groups, smaller classrooms, and they have project work directly related with the sectors. We can forward. This is the curriculum of gastronomy. As you can see, uh, advanced English is continued here, but this time the vocabulary is specifically designed for gastronomy and culinary arts. And um, our students will be performing project presentations during the third and fourth year classes. And these presentations will, will be graded not only by content, but also fluency of presentation, body language, uh, stage usage. So we want our students to have self-confidence when they graduate. This is what we hear from the sectors. They tell um, our graduates are starting to produce, starting to create edit value from day one. This is what we want to achieve for our future graduates as well. We can forward. Uh, these are the area electives for gastronomy. The list is shorter than tourism because we only have limited number of students now reaching to fourth year. Uh, our curriculum is ready. Our teachers are ready. We didn't want to create false hopes here, so we just presented what we are already offering. 
but we will be offering twice as much of this when we have full capacity uh, students uh, studying in the fourth year. So our school is young. This is why our school is very energetic and our school um, based the curriculum on the needs of the sectors for tomorrow. This is why we are in constant relation and search with the sectors. What should we teach to our students so that they can proceed faster and they can proceed higher from uh, the sector perspective? We can continue. Ah, this is our special program. Uh, we started management shadowing program four years ago and we have completed fourth year with success. Uh, the program is designed to improve, advance or develop management skills. Every manager should have uh, decision making skills, persuasion skills, negotiation skills, time management skills, teamwork skills or work alone skills, representation skills. So our students are already preparing themselves with projects, but this time with this program, they have to work three days a week under the wings of a manager. Under the wings of a manager, there is a small area, a small shadow, where our students uh, not only observe the manager with day-to-day -day work, they attend to meetings together, they have project work together, but also our students provide um, projects for the sector and sector is very much looking forward for the new shadows every year because they say every shadow brings a new uh, enthusiastic energy to their company and they bring fresh ideas and our students benefit from the experience of the managers, managers benefit from the enthusiasm and uh, fresh ideas of the uh, potential graduates and actually potential graduates 95% stay <coughs> in the company where they have uh, participated in management shadowing program. So this is a professional career startup. It is like a demo for the shadow, for the student and also for the company for three months, getting to know each other, advancing in the company. And uh, it is like flirting between company and the potential graduate. And matchmaking is 95% um, perfect and our students are happy with it. Sector is much happier than our students. We can proceed. Internships. We put great emphasis on internships. Tourism, gastronomy, culinary arts, these are service industry. Service industry means we are serving to people with people. So you can teach many things in class, but at the end of the day, they have to have practice and they have to manage their uh, standalone working experience. Internships is like a test run or test drive for their careers. Uh, we have two minimum internships, uh, 60 days after the second year, after sophomore year, and 60 days after third year, from after uh, junior year. This is the minimum internship requirement, but starting from this year, um, we would like to extend this internship up to 16 months starting from first year and for foreign students the only way to have an internship or the only way to work legally in Turkey is uh, if the university pays the social security premiums. This is why our university is extending this internship opportunity from two months after uh, sophomore, two months after uh, junior year to uh, 16 months in total graduation or total education time so that our foreign students can benefit uh, from internship experience anywhere in Turkey. Uh, and this is up to the student if they want to extend, but minimum total four months is the internship required. For each internship, we request our students to prepare a CV uh, because we invite company representatives this year in uh, December, first week of December, we have hosted 42 managers from different companies in Antalya. Antalya is the heart of tourism in Turkey. 42% uh, of the bed capacity in uh, Turkey is located in Antalya. So the, uh, or we can say Antalya airport is the uh, busiest uh, international airport in Turkey. 
So Antalya is the gateway of tourism in Turkey. This is why many multinationals, many multi, uh, international companies have either their own investments in Antalya or they have partnership in Antalya. This is why our students have many opportunities and our partner companies are looking forward for having one to one uh, interviews. We have 15 minute interviews uh, for each uh, student who would like to participate in the internship uh, interviews. Uh, every year December we invite companies to our campus as career week or shadowing week because these um, uh, reviews or um, recruitment process is also valid for management shadowing where the fourth year students are uh, taking place, taking part. So our students have the opportunity to meet one to one with the manager of the company like F&B manager or front office manager or housekeeping manager or guest relations manager or finance manager or accounting manager, HR manager. So <coughs> it's not like going and applying to a company where you only meet with HR specialists, but we invite real day-to-day uh, -day managers uh, to our campus where our students meet face-to-face -face and have an interview, then they receive um, job uh, offers and they accept whichever they prefer or they deem uh, appropriate for them. Uh, this year we have more than 1,000 one-to-one interviews in our student. Considering we have only around 90 graduates, this is a huge number. Every student has met minimum with 12 managers. Okay, Demet Ceylan, we are thankful to you and let me uh, just inform you that the management <laughs> shadowing program, uh, the creator of the idea is Demet Ceylan, so we as the academics and the students are thankful to her. <coughs> okay, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. okay, then let's move on uh, with the Erasmus opportunities and uh, now we are hearing Chala. Yes, uh, thank you Demet Hoca uh, for the uh, useful information about the internships and the management strategy. Uh, now we can uh, talk about uh, uh, students uh, studying uh, abroad or uh, working abroad. Uh, students have three ways to work uh, or study abroad. Um, the first one is uh, the Erasmus Plus. Erasmus Plus have two ways. Uh, students can either go to a university, study at a partner university, in the uh, EU, uh, in the European uh, Union, and then uh, by doing that, uh, students learn about the uh, European country and its people and its culture, and they experience a new period of life, which is priceless. Um, the second uh, way uh, using Erasmus Plus is the internship mobility. Students can also uh, use Erasmus funding to uh, for uh, to fund their internships, basically. Uh, but this time again, they need to find an institution or internship placement like a hotel or a restaurant uh, in the EU again. And it's students' responsibility to find the institution. But uh, as we uh, in the School of Tourism, we are trying to help our students to find an um, uh, internship placement in the EU with different companies. Uh, such as uh, Max Internship, which we will talk about in the next slide. Um, so with the 60 days of internship, uh, students can uh, use this opportunity uh, to do their internship in the, uh, Europe. But the conditions there, of course, it's not for free. <laughs> uh, students have to have a GPA of 220 out of four, uh, and they need to be successful in the Erasmus language exam held by the Antalya Dream University. So as you see, uh, the uh, Erasmus application starts on the second year. So if you if you keep an eye on your uh, GPA levels, uh, even in the first year, this will be very helpful. And of course, you need to uh, continue developing your English skills. And um, the, for the Erasmus uh, uh, student uh, exchange uh, mobility, um, we have um, agreements with uh, some universities in the EU. Uh, uh, for example, we have agreements with Slovenia, uh, University of Pomorska, and Germany, Portugal, Hungary, and Romania. And for the gastronomy and culinary arts, we have uh, uh, agreements with two Spanish universities. 
Uh, as I said, with the uh, opportunities, uh, we have Erasmus. Uh, we can use Erasmus. And the second opportunity is uh, Max Internship. It's a company offers our students a matching internship placement within the hospitality and tourism industry. It could be uh, chains of hotels uh, or international chains or five to five, four to five stars hotels on the Canary Islands, which is in the EU. That's why they can also use Erasmus funding to go to Canary Islands and do their internships. And Max Internship will help them. Uh, for that, they need to have a, uh, an uh, interview, online interview. Uh, but the conditions are not as uh, hard as the uh, Erasmus, so they can still use this opportunity. The third opportunity to study work, uh, study or work abroad is the Work and Travel USA. Uh, work and Travel USA is a cultural student exchange program that allows students from all over the world to stay in America uh, during summer months and together with the US students and other students from uh, different countries around the world and uh, work seasonal jobs at uh, different employers across America, like working at the um, hotel industry or restaurants. Here we have some examples of our students who went abroad uh, to study or for uh, internships on the Canary Islands or in, uh, in the EU. They all have very good experience. As a summary, uh, why study tourism and hotel management or gastronomy and culinary arts at Antalya Bilim University? We have an English speaking campus, a uh, multicultural environment with different nationalities from all over the world, uh, English taught courses, uh, opportunities to learn other foreign languages, high quality teaching and research uh, because of uh, different backgrounds of, uh, backgrounds of our uh, uh, lecturers double major and minor programs, uh, connection to the professional tourism sector through management shadowing program, uh, as Demet Hoca explained, and internships, work in all types of hospitality industry organizations like tour operators, travel agencies, hotels and restaurants, and employability around the world with all these uh, equipment equipment with the languages and theoretical and uh, practical experience of our graduates. Uh, we thank you, Chala, and uh, okay, let's move on with the other question because we have been talking about the university and the opportunities related to the university students, but we are also curious about the city itself. Uh, uh, so let's ask them at Jaylan, uh, what do you think about the opportunities of this city that offers to the students culturally, socially? Well, Antalya is my city, so I might not be objective in this uh, perspective. Although I lived in Istanbul for more than nine years, uh, I came back to Antalya because Antalya offers much more to me. It, it has every uh, arts and music and opera, everything here. But besides, there is a beautiful nature. For example, now I'm live broadcasting from Saklukan Ski Resort, where there are 600 uh, holiday uh, houses here. During winter, it is used for skiing and snowboarding on piste and off piste. And uh, during summer, it is used as summer houses. Uh, it is more than 2000 meters altitude. And now it is quite cool and dry here. Uh, Antalya is, as you know, tropical climate and very good for holiday. And here we enjoy uh, altitude and bright weather and nice uh, nature because of Taurus Mountains. Um, going parallel to Mediterranean Sea, uh, we can enjoy uh, a beautiful scenery and uh, beautiful mountains here. And during winter, our students can come here over the weekends for skiing. It is just one hour driving and there is public transportation. Uh, and during summer, if they want, they can enjoy the nice weather and scenery here. But during winter, they can have skiing classes or snowboarding lessons, or they can bring their own equipment uh, or rent from here. So we have one hour drive uh, away, a ski resort in Antalya. Thank you so much. And uh, let's ask the same question to Chala. Um, like uh, Demet uh, explained, Antalya is surrounded by uh, natural beauty. Uh, like uh, if the candidate students uh, like the sun, uh, they will love Antalya. 
Uh, Antalya is also uh, offers cultural diversity, uh, fascinating history, historical heritage, all these archaeological sites, and the gorgeous landscape uh, with affordable prices, I, I think. So therefore, I think they should uh, use the uh, scholarship opportunities which we mentioned uh, in the previous slides and apply for those uh, scholarships and um, then uh, start uh, studying and at Antalya University. Thank you so much. Actually, uh, it is time to finish this event. And uh, first of all, thank the professors. We are so thankful because of the information that they shared with us. Uh, and we are all, always looking for your questions. Uh, we didn't receive any yet, but uh, we will uh, just announce this video. We will just publish this video on YouTube also, so you can follow us there and ask your questions through email address. And you also saw the email address. It is tourism at antalya.edu.tr. And um, so no matter which country, which city, which university you choose, um, please just first be aware of your skills and uh, your capabilities. And we hope that you make the right decision and you will maybe leave your family, leave your friends behind, but you will meet others here because you will see that there are other students uh, looking for friendship and looking for social events. So we will be here for you if you prefer to come to Antalya Bilim University and one of our departments. And that's all, okay. Uh, if you missed this meeting, please just join the next meeting, which will be held on 5th of August. Uh, 2020 and uh, it will start at the same time at 8 o'clock 8 p.m okay hope to see you again bye bye